guys, it is another Threb to Friday here on my channel. And I was going to upload something on Monday about how it was raining that day and how my computer seems to be contracting a Lappy McPhail suck sort of virus every time I look up Liam Dryden's name, which is weird because it doesn't happen anywhere else, but every time I look up anything that has to do with Liam Dryden, my computer decides to crash, which sucks for me because I like him a lot and my computer doesn't seem to like him at all. But I didn't like that video, so we trashed that. But today I'm going to be talking about a new show on CBS, which I'm sure most of you have heard of, and it's called Elementary. I've got some problems with this show. I've been a part of the Sherlock Holmes franchise since I was about 10 when I first picked up the books, which is arguably a weird book to pick up when you're 10, but I was just awesome. So, you know, just, you know, spreading around the awesome before I even knew I was. And I heard about this show, and immediately I went to go look up the trailer for it with the whole behind-the-scenes footage, and I just remember I was very irritated right from the start. I mean, I don't... They've already killed two major points, like, in the whole Sherlock Holmes stories. I mean, in the Sherlock Holmes stories, it always takes place in London, and he's always got his faithful Dr. John Watson with him in every story that's been there, and they've already killed those two things right off the bat. Because now, he's in Manhattan! Don't get me wrong, I live here in America, but I don't want... Let's... No, you're putting a bad name on yourself. I don't, I'm starting to not like my country. Why would you do this to me? Why would you put Sherlock here? It's not that I don't want Sherlock here. I love Sherlock here. But he's supposed to be in London. I'm supposed to get excited because, oh, look, there's London. I don't go there often, but there's Sherlock. It makes it seem more appealing there because it's like, oh, they've got everything over there. I don't want to bring Sherlock here. I mean... I don't mind when they decide to bring the Doctor to New York for one episode, because that's fine. It's like, okay, great, yeah, he came to New York one day. I mean, that's, that's good. But I don't like when they decide, let's do a whole series of Sherlock where he lives in New York. He doesn't live in New York. He lives in London at 221 Baker Street. You're already ruining this for me. So I'm upset. And then the second thing, which has, there's been a lot of, like, two-sidedness on this. Um, the fact that there's now a Dr. Joan Watson. I didn't actually think that was going to be her name. I was like, oh, because I heard, I'm like, oh, Watson's going to be a girl. I'm like, oh, what, a Dr. Joan Watson? I thought they'd be a little more creative than that, but apparently CBS just isn't creative. I don't know. And... <laughs> I'm sitting there and I'm trying to focus on this story. I'm trying to go like, oh, okay, well I can maybe get into this, but I can't. I mean, I know there's some people who say, well, those who don't want Dr. Joan Watson are just being sexist. You guys don't want a female lead in this show. It's not that we don't want a female lead. It's just like, that's not the storyline. It's the same thing with Moffat saying that the doctor might be regenerated as a woman. It's not that we don't want the strong female lead. I mean, in Doctor Who, I'm pretty sure we already have a strong female lead with River. And it's not like we're completely rejecting the idea of it. It's just, that's, it's not what we're used to. I guess it's harder to adjust. I mean, I'm sure if people were watching, we'd probably all just adjust eventually. But it's just, the idea of the thing, when you picture Sherlock, you picture Watson, and you picture Guy Watson. I mean, it's not going to be as much fun to look out for sexual tension in this, because it's like... Because, I mean, in Sherlock, it's fun. It's like, ah, John and Sherlock. But now it's like, well, this isn't as fun. That's... oh, uh, I don't like it. I'm probably still going to watch it. And when I do, this fall, I'm going to come on here and I'm going to do my reaction right away. But from right what I can say... He, I mean, like, I'm watching the trailer, and he doesn't seem to have the same spring in his step as Benedict does, but I mean, come on, Benedict and Martin are just a hard act to follow. Look at them. They're amazing. And, um, another thing that people were worried about, they said that it's just copying Sherlock, and I have actually looked at that. It turns out that they've had the pilot since 2002, which I can agree with, and it's been bouncing around the studio since then. 
And that makes sense because the Sherlock Holmes franchise has always been around. It's been around for much longer than obviously when Sherlock came out. And I can assume that, you know, they started noticing with Robert Downey Jr.'s Sherlock Holmes and the movies and with the extreme popularity of Sherlock on the BBC, they've realized that this franchise might be something to get into for a while, so now the pilot was actually picked up and used. So no, I don't think that they're just copying the show, because I do agree that, you know, some of these things are in the studio for years before people actually use them, and now this franchise is really popular, so it only makes sense to get into it. Like the whole vampire thing craze with Twilight that really just sucked. Pun intended. So, yeah. I mean, what do you guys think? Do you guys like the show? Are you planning on watching it? Video response? Comment? Something? Tell me your thoughts about elementary. And I really hope CBS just doesn't make me lose hope in America. I... Ugh. Stupid country. Stupid, stupid. I don't know, is it?